Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today with a review of my customs book. This is honestly one of the most unique things that I have in my LEGO collection. Like, I have a lot of LEGO, but this is certainly one of the most unique things I have, just because who else has one of these? Like, nobody. So basically what this custom book is, is a big, fat binder where I put all my third-party LEGO, like, minifigure accessories or any other accessories that, like, fit in the binder. As you can see, like, here on the front cover, I just have a lot of different, uh, the companies, like, logos, like, Citizen Brick and GI Brick and Clone Army Customs. Most of the uh, neon bricks, I think everything, I don't think I have any Citizen Brick products, but the rest of everything on this binder, I do have some of their product in this book. The book itself is actually divided into like several different sections of parts, mainly because I organize it based on, you know, brand and stuff like that. So I'm kind of just going to show you an overview of the entire book here, and then in separate videos I'm actually going to go over each individual section. You can check that in the cards right there. I have a playlist of them. Right here in this front section I actually have just a bunch of random things. In here I have this Brick Arms Offensive Combat Pack. As you can see, the whole pack still has all the weapons in it, and I think, and then this one, okay, apparently I have two of those, I didn't even know that. I have this Brick Arms value pack, and that is just empty, kind of the container. I have my prototype models of my custom LEGO cell phones, I have the very first versions here. I have one of these Brick Warriors Warrior packs. I have a couple of these, and they're tops these GI Brick mystery packs because these are really fun packs and I like opening them. I have one of the Brick Arms surplus military green packs and then I have all of those cards right here just because I've as you can see I've ordered a lot of those. And I think that's all in the sleeve here. Oh there's something else. And then I have another offensive combat pack because I bought a couple of those as well. I really want to do a couple more opening videos on these, but they cost $15 a pack. So, that's why I haven't done one of those in a while. Moving on, the Brick Arm section is my favorite section in the entire book. As you can see, it has got several pages just full of Brick Arms, and I'll go through all these pages in more detail. The next section I have is the Brick Forge section. So, most of the stuff in this book is not a paid advertisement, nobody sent me this product. In this case, all of this product was actually free. Um, I didn't buy any of anything on this page, this was all free from several conventions I went to. This was also free, I paid for all of this, and that was free from Brick Loot. The next section is X39 Brick Customs Light Up Blocks. So, this was all stuff I was given as well. This X39 Brick Custom stuff, that was all, I bought all that. All this Eclipse Graphic stuff, I, I purchased all that myself. Brick TW, which I don't even really know what that is, and Clone Army Customs, I think all the Clone Army Customs were given to me. Though that stuff was not, I had to buy that in a mystery pack or something. Brick Warriors, I'm pretty sure all this, I, those were given to me. I bought all those, I bought all these, so the rest I bought there. And the last section in this book, wow, I'm going through this book fast, is Jealous Panda. So all this stuff, again, I purchased, except... And the last section in this book is Jealous Panda. Um, this stuff was free. This was free. Oh, actually, no, I paid for that. And then I paid for the rest of this. You know, their custom arches, which are really cool, and their tent, which I'm going to do a video on because it's such cool. And then a cape and stuff. They used to be minifigure leaves. And then finally, my Brick Lover 18 Customs line. I just have a couple of the things here, you know. Just a couple of the random products that I sell. And then we're at the end of the book. And as you can see, I have just a couple loose sheets here for when I add more of the LEGO products. So I hope you enjoyed this video where I show you my customs book. I am I love this book. Like this is definitely one of the favorite my favorite things I have in my Lego collection just because of all the unique things that are in it. So you'll have to stay tuned and check the cards for the playlist where I show each of these things individually. I'm really excited to do that. So thanks everybody for watching and I hope you have a great day.